All right, thanks, Brittany. Although this bridge has reopened, it's not the only one with the rating of structurally deficient by the Indiana Department of Transportation. The figure is actually more than 6% in Tippecanoe County, with 21 of 326 bridges having a poor rating. In the case of the Wildcat Creek Bridge, it's a designation that's lasted for almost a decade. It's a story that News 18 first told you about in a special report almost four years ago. The Crossroads of America boasts over 18,000 bridges. 10% of those are deemed structurally deficient. The fact that a bridge is structurally deficient does not imply that the bridge is likely to collapse or that the bridge is unsafe. Failing bridges are a problem that has had deadly consequences elsewhere. Eight years ago this month, an I-35 bridge collapsed during rush hour in Minneapolis, killing 13, injuring 145 others. The NTSB cited a design flaw as the likely culprit. In Tippecanoe County, NDOT calls 21 bridges structurally deficient, including seven that they maintain, like the Wildcat Creek Bridge. On a scale of zero to nine, nine is excellent. Four equals a poor rating. The bridge gets a four for its substructure. Its superstructure nets a five or fair condition. The bridge deck is six or satisfactory. The ratings are unchanged in its six inspections since 2007, meaning that rating of four has lasted for almost a decade. If our bridge engineers found anything that they felt would be unsafe at all, that they would have shut the bridge down in May. INDOT inspectors say the substructure of the I-65 bridge in the opposite direction is in fair condition. But two more state-maintained bridges in Tippecanoe County are also rated as structurally deficient for either superstructure or substructure. The Sagamore Parkway Bridge over River Road, which got a four rating for superstructure, substructure, and bridge deck. You may remember less than three months ago, NDOT said damage to one of the walls looked a lot worse than it was. The other bridge is on State Road 26 over the South Fork of the Wildcat. It has a 4 rating for the superstructure and a 3 rating even worse for the substructure. NDOT says both bridges are slated to be rebuilt. The Sagamore Bridge to go out for bid in October, the 26th bridge in 2017. The other four state-maintained structurally deficient bridges in the county are for a poor rating for the bridge deck which an NDOT spokesman says while it may be a rough ride for drivers, it's not a major safety concern. News 18 also spoke with Tippecanoe County Highway officials about its 14 bridges on NDOT's list. They say the only one that merits a structurally deficient rating is where Lily Road crosses Weah Creek past Ivonic, which is set to be re rebuilt in 2017. They say all the other ones are functionally obsolete, most because lane width is less than the standard 12 feet.